In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, and to you my, my brothers and sisters, sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, and what I have done and what I have failed to do, to my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask this of me, Mary, your Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord of mercy. Christ of mercy. Christ of mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of the Apocalypse. In my vision, I, John, saw a door open in heaven and heard the same voice speaking to me, the voice like a trumpet saying, Come up here, I will show you what is to come in the future. With that, the Spirit possessed me, and I saw a throne standing in heaven, and the one who was sitting on the throne and the person sitting there looked like a diamond and a ruby. There was a rainbow encircling the throne, and this looked like an emerald. Round the throne in a circle were twenty-four thrones, and on them I saw twenty-four elders sitting, dressed in white robes with golden crowns on their heads. Flashes of lightning were coming from the throne, and the sound of the peal of thunder, and in front of the throne there were seven flaming lamps burning, the seven spirits of God. Between the throne and myself was a sea that seemed to be made of glass, like crystal. In the center, grouped round the throne itself, were four animals with many eyes in front and behind. The first animal was like a lion, the second like a bull, the third animal had a human face, and the fourth animal was like a flying eagle. Each of the four animals had six wings and had eyes all the way round as well as inside and day and night they never stop singing. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God the Almighty. He was, he is, and he is to come. Every time the animals glorified and honoured and gave thanks to the one sitting on the throne who lives forever and ever, the twenty-four elders prostrated themselves before him to worship the one who lives forever and ever, and threw down their crowns in front of the throne, saying, You are our Lord and our God. You are worthy of glory and honour and power, because you made all the universe, and it was only by your will that everything was made and exists. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response is, Holy, Holy, Holy is the Lord God the Almighty. Holy, Holy, Holy is the Lord God Almighty. Praise God in his holy place.
Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his powerful deeds. Praise his surpassing greatness. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. O oh, praise him with sound of trumpet. Praise him with lute and harp. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with strings and pipes. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. O oh, praise him with resounding cymbals. Praise him with clashing of cymbals. Let everything that lives and that breathes give praise to the Lord. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. When anyone obeys what God has said, God's love comes to perfection in him. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to your Lord. While the people were listening, Jesus went on to tell a parable because he was near Jerusalem, and they imagined that the kingdom of God was going to show itself then and there. Accordingly, he said, A man of noble birth went to a distant country to be appointed king and afterwards returned. He summoned ten of his servants and gave them ten pounds. Do business with these, he told them, until I get back. But his compatriots detested him and sent a, de a delegation to follow him with this message, we do not want this man to be our king. Now, on his return, having received his appointment as king, he sent for those servants to whom he had given the money to find out what profit each had made. The first came in and said, Sir, your one pound has brought in ten. Well done, my good servant, he replied. Since you have proved yourself faithful in a very small thing, you shall have the government of ten cities. Then came the second and said, Sir, your one pound has made five. To this one also he said, And you shall be in charge of five cities. Next came the other and said, Sir, here is your pound. I put it away safely in a piece of linen because I was afraid of you, for you are an exacting man. You pick up what you have not put down and reap what you have not sown. You wicked servant, he said, out of your own mouth I condemn you. So you knew I was an exacting man, picking up what I have not put down, and reaping what I have not sown. Then why did you not put my money in the bank? On my return, I could have drawn it out with interest. And he said to those standing by, Take the pound from him, and give it to the man who has ten pounds. And they said to him, But sir, he has ten pounds. I tell you, to everyone who has will be given more, but from the man who has not, even what he has will be taken away. But as for my enemies who did not want me for their king, bring them here and execute them in my presence. When he had said this, he went on ahead going up to Jerusalem. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> we give thanks to Christ and we praise him because he was not ashamed to call us his brothers and sisters. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Help us to live the new life of Easter, so that people may know through us the power of your love. 
Lord hear us. Lord graciously hear us. Every day is a proof of your love. As you bring us to this new day, make us new in mind and in heart. Lord hear us. Lord graciously hear us. Teach us to see you present in all people. Help us to recognize you most of all in those who suffer. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. May our lives today be filled with your compassion. Give us the spirit of forgiveness and a generous heart. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for all who are poorly in mind or body, at home, in the nursing home or in hospital. We pray too for all those who are receiving treatment of one kind or another. And we pray through the intercession of Our Lady of Lourdes that the good Lord may strengthen, sustain, and support all those whose health is a touch vulnerable at this time. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for all those families mourning the loss of a family member that God may bring them his consolation. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And for all those who are suffering the consequences of the current coronavirus pandemic, that God the Father may grant health to the sick, strength to those who care for them, comfort to families, and salvation to all the many victims who have died. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for the dead. We remember in a special way Frederick McCann, Lisa Creaney, Dimpna Daly, Annie McGrath, Anne Kelly, and Molly Conley, all of whose anniversaries occur today. We continue to keep in our prayers those who have died of recent weeks, remembering especially Jackie Quinn, Jared Boyle, Josephine Headley, Mary Duffy, Tanya Campbell, Josephine Cullen, Baby Creamy, and Leo Coleman. And we ask God to grant these and all our own deceased loved ones a merciful judgment and an eternal repose. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Let us pray. God, our Saviour, through the grace of baptism, you made us children of light. Hear our prayers, that we may always walk in that light and work for truth as your witnesses in the world, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become <coughs> our spiritual drink. Bless you, be God, forever.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for the good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting <coughs> happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our it God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, Lord of hosts, heaven and earth have come to your glory, O Son in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, who has made heaven and earth, the sea, you are indeed holy, o Lord. and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For upon the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We you proclaim your, your death, death, Lord, Lord the perfection and resurrection until you come, you come again. Therefore, O oh Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished with the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain.
will be in an inheritance of your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Patrick, St. Bridget, St. Eta, St. Columba, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely upon feeling help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope, Eamon our Bishop Michael, his assistant bishop, Sean our retired bishop, the order of bishops of the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow in the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour endures forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy, thy kingdom come, come. thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us give this us day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not to temptation, but let us deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life amongst you this evening. Lamb of God, you took away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you took away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter on my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Amen, I say to you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you will receive, and it shall be given to you, says the Lord. O sacrament, O holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament, O holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment O sacrament, O holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacred heart of Jesus, immaculate heart of me, O angel of God, my charge and fear, in God's love, commits thee here, ever this day be on my side, to light to guard, to rule and guide. Pray together the memorare, invoking the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that we may all be protected from the coronavirus. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto you, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To you do I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful, O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise of my petitions, but in your clemency, hear and answer me. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. May they rest in peace. Amen. May their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with, and with you. your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Yes.